Yeah, so I promoted, um, I promoted Mary, Renee, and Stephen. So Mary, why don't we start with you? Tim Marine County Supervisor Damon Connolly. I'm calling on a patient with Ralph Lambert's um, retirement. Just renewing our request that this um, cleanup continue forward um, is, you know, expeditiously as possible. Uh, the county housing element and Lena numbers, et cetera, are taking a very close look at this site. Um, and that's happening right now. And so just wanting to keep um, moving forward. I, it, there's been some changes in, in the ownership plan and just wanting to keep moving forward with this. Thank you for your time today. Thank you, Ms. Second. And next in that group, Wesley? Uh, Renee would be next. Renee, we certainly know you here. Go Hi. ahead. Uh, sorry, that's my dog there. Um, thank you for your time. Um, I just a um, little bit concerned. Um, I'm, I'm actually relieved that Hoyt has um, has decided to do the demolition and excavation method um, for remediation at the site. Um, but I am concerned that, um, you know, the flip-flopping does, does consume time and that it was kind of a big issue for us with our property and how it was affected by the, the plaza's contamination. Um, I'm concerned about the fact that there are um, missed deadlines and um, I, I guess the public participation plan due date was not honored and an extension was not allowed. So I, I am wondering about that. I'm also um, wondering about this remedial action plan, um, addendum number four regarding the excavation and um, the, the demolition and the excavation. It just seems that there's a lot of um, uh, flip-flopping and it's just eating up more time and it's really really it's not good for the, the plaza site it's not good for the adjoining properties it's not uh, good for the properties that are affected by um, this negligence um, yeah, our property right now is undergoing a remediation plan and time will tell how it's going to work out but these delays the years that have elapsed um, are really, really troubling. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you for being here, Renee. I know it's been difficult. Uh, Wesley, the next person? Yes, the next would be uh, Stephen or Stephen. Yes, uh, uh, congratulations uh, uh, to the uh, Chairman McGrath, and I, f I forgot who the, the vice chair was. But uh, thanks to both of you. We, of course, uh, have appreciated uh, your service uh, to clean water. Uh, and, you know, at least listening to us uh, when we come back uh, these many times to, uh, uh, to make sure that the cleanup get, just stays on schedule. We had a wrap. I think it was, I, I, I honestly, I don't even remember how long ago it was. I know uh, we started this in, I think, 2012. Uh, just three of us initially uh, took this on. One of the, those uh, uh, members at Clean Up Marinwood Plaza Now Committee has uh, passed away. Uh, we're still charging at it, and... Um, it's so disappointing. We, we, um, the board has issued its directives. We have missed targets. There has been no enforcement. Um, and, you know, just the last few months, we were going to have uh, clean up the soil vapor. Um, they, they had to meet a target date, which they said, 
oh no, we have to now have a public participation to see if the soil vapor extraction is going to go okay. And then that got uh, washed away. So all this time, all this time that we've been pleading with you that the pollution has been in the groundwater seeping eastward, polluting um, not only the Severo Ranch uh, uh, wells, uh, but also uh, the property uh, St. Vincent's. And as um, uh, Mary Sackett mentioned, um, we are looking at these sites for residential development. We need action, action, action on this. And we're, unfortunately, um, even though you've heard us before, you've issued the directives, there have been penalties in place for missing those directives. When it comes to um, fail, failure to meet those directives, nothing has happened. So, you know, the, the um, polluter, uh, the uh, has basically gotten their way in delaying this process. So, um, anyhow, um, that's all I have to say at this moment. Uh, I know um, uh, Bill McNicholas, who is, is really our chairperson, uh, would like to be here today, although he's getting medical tests himself. We, can, we can't fool around with this. I mean, really... This, it's it's enough already. If if the board means anything, if your authority means anything, then your directives need to be followed. This is how you protect our waterways, uh, our drinking water. So uh, anyhow, thanks for listening again. Uh, it's always good to see uh, this group. Um, and I know you're all earnest and feel as strongly as me that... Um, our environment needs protection. Um, so thank you for your service. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Stephen and Renee and Mary. Um, we really do. A uh, you, you do make a difference. It might be appropriate to have a, an executive officer's update at uh, the next meeting or the following meeting on this. Sure, we we will we'll report back to you once we get. I, I like to get some specifics on the latest state of affairs and expectations that implementation is forthcoming. So so I want to make sure we get the facts. I want to report back once we have the facts, which could be as early as next month. Okay. So we do hear you. Now I do see uh, first Alexis's hand and after that Jane's hand. Alexis, go ahead. I was um, struck by the comment um, that the uh, land ownership may have changed. And I just wanted to, um, to add my interest to an update. I feel like we talk about this particular problem a couple times a year. The deadlines get away. Um, even though there's um, such good oversight on the part of the management and staff team at the water board. And I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering if we should, um, when the time is right, um, have this as an agenda item and discuss how we can um, be more effective in moving this along. Thanks. Thank you, Alexis. And, and next I have Jane and after that I see Bill's hand. I think Alexis captured most of it for me. I, um, I don't know if it's appropriate, uh, and uh, uh, Yuri can tell us whether uh, any staff update today, just an update on has the property changed hands, and did they miss, I know we just talked about this, did they miss some deadlines? Uh, just those two questions would be helpful to know, but I'm willing to wait a bit on a full staff report if that's your preference, but um, I, I agree with Alexis. We this is I think this has been since the entire time I've been on the board and before, way before. So I, I would love to see what we can do to bring this to a successful conclusion. So those questions can be answered if um, staff know the answer. So I think that just, to, just the very simple questions are: Has there been a change in ownership, and have they missed compliance deadlines? 
Um, Alec, are, can you answer those questions? Well, the first one, the, hi, yeah, uh, good morning, uh, board members. This, I'm Alec Noggle, the uh, chief of our toxic, Toxics Cleanup Division. Uh, the first question of, of uh, ownership change, I, I'm not aware that the, if we're, if we're referring to the actual source property, which is the discharger's property has, has been sold. I know that uh, there has been a change in back to an original remedy and that's a little bit, that, that's that been disconcerting, but I haven't heard that land ownership has changed. So I'm not really sure what that was referring to or if that was referring to an off source property adjacent. The other question, just simply, yes, they've 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 missed deadlines. The big deadline was was two years ago for a soil excavation plan. They missed that, and as a result, we did a cleanup order in September of 2020, and um, issued notices of violation, and have you know uh, held their feet to the fire, and they've pivoted to a, a remedy, a different remedy, and now back to this original remedy. So I know it's very frustrating. Most recently, we have given them a, a date of this Friday to provide a schedule for the, the, the original soil excavation and building demolition plan. And um, we're looking to see what we receive and then uh, uh, consider our options accordingly. They have missed a public participation plan, which was due January 6th. We still have not received it. And we're fully much, very much aware of that as well. Um, so I hope that answers those two questions very quickly. Um, and I know anyone... we all have a lot more questions, but that's great for today. Thank you, Alec. Yeah. Bill. And so Dr. I, Bill I'd like to, so I, I, my comments, uh, have to a certain degree, a large extent been covered already by what Jane and Alexis have said, so I'm not going to repeat them. I agree with them wholeheartedly. I, I would like, uh, this on for our next meeting, if at all possible. I'd like, as part of the materials that we get in terms of the update, all the deadlines that have been met or have, have been set and then have not been met, um, uh, and be in a position um, to actually do something. Uh, because I agree, this has gone on for way too long, um, and our effectiveness as an agency, I think, is really called to the floor here. So, uh, if we can get a complete briefing on that, and and I'd like a recommendation of what we should do. I think. I, I think it's time. It's absolutely time. Thank you, Bill. Andy? I just wanted to say that I agree with what Alexis and Bill said. I also want to uh, thank those who are presenting for their thoughtful and constructive demeanor. Um, I believe that it probably uh, takes quite a level of effort to control what I think is justifiable frustration. And uh, so I just wanted to say that appreciate that and I look forward to hearing at as soon as possible from the staff about um, the issues that board member Kissinger identified. Thank you, board. I, I, I think the degree of concern on the board is very, very clear. 